I could, or if we just dumb as fuck. Either way it goes, motherfucker, something's up, right? Tell you what I mean, right? She hit me up one day. D, what you doing? I ain't on shit. What you on? Nigga, you know what I'm on. Meet me at the spot. I go to the spot. We in the room. While we in the room, the nigga immediately calls her fucking phone. She ain't answering. Cool. Next time, she pick up the phone. She don't speak the phone. I know the side in the room. Mouth closed, speak the phone. You know what to do. This nigga sitting like, yeah, nigga, I know exactly what to do. Shit, I have my shit on silent right now, just in case. But no, man, so we know the fucking rules, right? The nigga's on the phone tripping. Where the fuck is you at, man? I done called you nine times. Where the fuck you been? She told this motherfucker a lie so fucking smooth. She told this nigga, relax, baby. I was at the doctor getting my period removed. How the fuck you get your period removed? This stupid motherfucker went along with it like, oh, shit, you getting it removed? So no more periods, that means more fucking for us, right? She like, exactly, nigga. So yeah. then capped the shit off with a move that was so slick out. She hit the motherfucker and said, all right, baby, I'm gonna call you back. They're getting the rest of, blood, the, rest of the blood out of my finger. What the fuck kind of shit is this, man? And the nigga went with it, man. That's when I knew it was time to stop doing the side dude shit, man. I knew at that point, man. I had a lady at the time, too. I'm like, man, it's over. I can't do this shit no more, man. I got it. I told her. You made this nigga, you literally made this nigga believe that you get your fucking car right, back. I got in my car and left, I went home, man. And on my way home, man, it's, it's crazy because I got off the fucking expressway on I-57, on 87. It was a horrible motherfucking accident right there. Everything was totally fucked up. I'm like, oh shit, right? So it was so close to my house, I'm thinking it's my girl in that motherfucking accident, right? So I get up, I shoot to the motherfucking house, and I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on? I don't see her fucking car outside. Then I don't see her car outside, I go upstairs, I don't see her there, so I'm panicking like a motherfucker. I be damn, who trying to play some shit while I'm on the hood? Hey, man. Piece of shit up here, done fell apart on the man. What the fuck happened right here? Damn, how you feel though, bro? Bluetooth connecting like these AI jokes or some shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, all that. I took a lot of fucking time writing this shit down. <laughs> and we got to start over and shit. So sexy red is the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So now, nah, man, like I said, I go up the stairs. I don't see her ass in the fucking house. I'm panicking. So I call her. She didn't even answer the phone. But luckily, Within three minutes, man, she called me back and was like, baby, what's going on? I'm like, oh shit, man, I was nervous, man. I saw this accident on 57. Are you cool, man? It was right off the 87. She's like, baby, relax. I was at the doctor getting my period removed. I'm like, you filthy bitch. You filthy bitch. Yeah, that shit over. I ain't fucking with you. But nah, man, so yeah, like, like my man Skinny said, man, I'm from the south side of Chicago, man, and I have, it's, it's always great when I get to come home and perform, man. Like, I love when I get to come home and perform. Like, even when I go across the state, across these countries and shit, perform, I love bringing my ass back home to Chicago and perform for everybody. So one more time, give it up for the south side, man, so we can have a great time. Chicago, I shall rap. Crazy, though, man, because at the end of the day, I actually moved away from the South Side to come back home, man. Uh, basically, I had got divorced, right? We'll talk about that shit later. Because I lost my house in that fucking process, and I missed that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all niggas ever had the downsides from the house to a studio? That shit ain't never fun, nigga. I stretched out my bed and turned my goddamn oven on one day. Like, God damn, bitch. Shit, I'm cooking eggs from my goddamn bed. That shit ain't never fun, man. But now, man, I ended up moving back to the South Side, man. Long story short, when my divorce happened, me and my biological dad, he opened the doors for your boy. He said, hey, man, you ain't got no problems. Don't worry about it. Come here, live with me, stack your bread, get your shit together. Hands down, one of the smoothest moves dude could have did for me. But, now, before you motherfuckers start clapping, wait a minute. Let me tell you why. Sounds good on paper. The motherfucker's absolutely retarded, though, right? I think a nigga got a dose of the downs. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Let me tell you why I say that, right? When you live with somebody, man, you gotta help them out around their career. Everybody knows this. When you stand with somebody, you help them out. This motherfucker said, 
Hey man, can you do me a favor? Can you go down there and do the laundry for me? She just say, "Let's, bro. I appreciate what you're doing. I get down there. I'm going through the laundry, putting shit in the back. I go to put his pants in there. I fill in this motherfucker pockets. This motherfucker got 27 packs of McDonald's ketchup stuffed in his motherfucking pocket. <laughs> I'm curious to the motherfucker at this point, cause I gotta know what the problem is, man. So I'm like, I'm not even gonna put this shit in the microwave in the goddamn washing machine. I'm gonna go up here and ask. I go up the stairs, I ask him, I say, hey man, real quick, why you got 27 packs of fucking ketchup in your pocket, man? With a straight face, this motherfucker looked at me and said, I keep it for protection. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, bro. How the fuck is 27 packs of ketchup gonna protect you, man? Hey, nigga, I'm glad you asked. I live on the south side of Chicago, nigga. The hell started shooting. I rip it open, rub it across my chest, lay on the ground. They think I already been shot. Stupid as hell. Stupid. Stupid. Let me run that one back, y'all, one more time so y'all can hear what the fuck I just said. This motherfucker told me with a straight face, I live on the south side of Chicago. I take it, I rip it open, rub this shit across my chest, lay on the ground so a motherfucker say, oh yeah, he been shot, and walk past it. You got, I don't know where he's stay at at this point, man. I'm not even gonna give you that information. You probably show up with some Burger King that you man, use this. But anyway, man, so now, I'm like, y'all, I'm laughing until I realize how serious this motherfucker actually was. Let me tell you why I say that. We at the bank one day. The motherfucker say, hey, D, when you get off, can you help me deposit this motherfucking check? Say less, bro, I got you. I'm gonna pick you up and take you there. We go to the bank. While we at the bank, he's in front of me, I'm behind him. While we were in the line, behind me, I hear this loud ass boom at the fucking door. Boom! Kick the door open, the dude walked in, cocked the fucking shotgun. Like, everybody, put your fucking hands up. We robbing this bitch. So I'm like, oh shit, I go back to reach for this motherfucker. He already on the goddamn ground with the ketchup on his chest. Trying to hand me one, like, hey, man, get down here with me. All right, y'all, I gotta get the fuck out of here, man. My name is Captain. I appreciate y'all supporting this fucking comedy, man.